Welcome back fellow problem solvers, John East here. Part 2 of a two-part series on triangles, geometry of two-dimensional shapes. So have fun with this one and hopefully you'll understand so much more at the end of this lesson. Okay, we're continuing with the two-dimensional shapes and geometry of it. All things triangle, part 2. Let's now focus on the angles. The previous one was focused on the sides. Just a quick recap, there we can see scaling, isosceles, and equilateral triangles. And now we're focusing on the angles. So first up, scaling triangle. This is when the three different angles will also be unequal. Now important to note, the longest side opposite the longest side will be the biggest angle. And opposite the shortest side will be the smallest angle. So important to remember that one. Now let's look at the second one. Isosceles triangle. Two equal sides. It will also have two equal angles. And again, they will be opposite the two equal sides. So that's a very quick way to wrap your head around triangles. And then thirdly, equilateral triangles. Three equal sides will also have three equal angles. Why? Because they are opposite three equal sides, as you can clearly see. Okay, so a quick recap. A scaling triangle is three unequal sides. Therefore, also three unequal angles. An isosceles triangle has two equal sides, and therefore also two equal angles. Equilateral triangle has three equal sides, therefore three equal angles. And important here, if these three angles are equal, like in this case x plus x plus x, the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180. Therefore, 3x will be equal to 180. And therefore, x will always, in this case, be equal to 60 degrees. Equilateral triangle will always have its angles equal to 60 degrees. That's something to remember. Very important. Let's continue on this trend with angles specifically. So, over here we've got a triangle with all three its angles smaller than 90 degrees. And we call this an acute triangle. And this is when all angles smaller than 90. The second one is a special triangle. We call this a right angle triangle. This is when one of the triangles is equal to 90 degrees. So at least one angle or just one angle is equal to 90 degrees. This also automatically means that the other two angles will add up to 90 degrees. And then the blue one over here is obtuse angle triangle. Okay, what this means is that one of the angles is bigger than 90 but smaller than 180. So this angle right over there, let's just call it X, will be bigger than 90 but smaller than 180. That's an obtuse angle triangle. So these are three other properties you need to remember. And then lastly, for this video, we're looking at terminology. As you can clearly see, this is our triangle, right? This part is outside the triangle. So this angle we refer to as the external angle. 
So this is the external angle of the triangle. And these two we refer to as interior angles. Okay, so now if you think about this, the logic behind this, and let me just very quickly explain. So I'm going to call this X, Y, Z, and M. As you remember, we used to talk about angles and straight lines. So we know Z plus M equals 180. But we also know for a triangle with interior angles being equal to 180, that X, that Z plus X plus Y also equals 180. This then automatically means that M must be equal to X plus Y. So this exterior angle of the triangle is equal to the opposite interior angles added together, y plus x. So keep that in mind, you'll be working with that a lot in high school. Thank you for your time, have a lovely day.